In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a group assignment with Hypothesis in your Brightspace course. The first thing we'll do is create the actual groups for annotating. So I will navigate to Course Tools at the top menu and then click on the Groups button. From here, I'm going to create a new category of groups. Basically what this means is a category in Brightspace is kind of a group of groups. So I could have one group of groups annotating one document for one assignment. And then if I wanted to have students in different groups for another assignment, I would create a different category. So I'm gonna create a category and I'll name it what I would like to name it. The enrollment type will be determined by how you want students split into groups and if you would want to have Brightspace kind of automatically put them into groups or if you want to manually enroll them. So I am going to select that I want the, a certain number of groups. So the most common tend to be you want, you know, groups of five students or maybe you just want five groups. I want two groups, so I'm going to select number of groups, enter the number of groups I would like, and then I will enter my group prefix. I can auto enroll new users if perhaps I'm still in an add drop period, and then I can click save. The rest of these options we can ignore for now. And my group creation is going to be in progress. So I'm gonna give that a moment and then I'll actually refresh the page to see if I have created my groups because Brightspace will actually kind of hang out in that group space for a while generating the group. So you should refresh the page to see if they've been generated. And I can see I have two different groups created here. Now that my group category and groups are created, I can create my hypothesis enabled reading. I'm going to do that by clicking on the content area of my course. And then I'll click on the unit I would like to add my hypothesis enabled reading to. From here, I'm going to click on existing activities and external learning tools. I'll scroll down and click on create new LTI link. Here I can enter my title of my assignment and for the LTI URL, you'll want to grab the URL from our D2L help page. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into my LTI URL area. And then we'll see hypothesis LTI 1.3 has been selected as the tool. I'll click create and insert. And then when I scroll down, I can see my week one group annotations has been added to my assignments. To add the reading, I'll click into the assignment. And then I can select the type of reading I'd like to add. In this instance, I'm going to use a URL of a web page and use an open textbook. So I will copy that URL and paste that in here and submit. Now I have an option to select this as a group assignment. So I'll check that this is a group assignment and then I can select which group set or group category I would like to use. So I'm going to select my week one reading groups and click continue. Now my hypothesis enable reading has been loaded and it looks the same as it typically would as if you were creating a whole class assignment. The key difference is in the upper right, you as the instructor now have the ability to navigate between two groups. So I can click on week one reading group or week two reading group to see the annotations in that particular group. The students, however, will not be able to navigate between groups and they will only see the annotations in their group. So only you as the instructor can see the different annotations that will be displayed in each individual group. And that is how you set up a group assignment for a hypothesis enabled reading in Brightspace.